Oh, he just quit. Boy. Hey, let's talk. Um, uh, Joe the Juggernaut, Joyce, former WBO interim champion, just stopped the uh, cannibal Gash Ali in the 10th round. Um, Gash Ali has never been stopped before. 21 and 3 now with 12 KOs. Most notably, uh, you may know him from going full cannibal on David Price, of all people, beating right under the uh, right, right under the titty. Um, Joe Joyce, by the way, weighed in at 286 and a quarter pounds, 15 pounds over his previous career high of 271. And I got to be honest, there's no replay value in this fight. He looked like shit. Rumors are he's going to possibly fight Deontay Wilder. There's also a very uh, seductive rematch out there, possibly for Joe Parker to avenge. If Joe Parker wants that smoke, but yeah, uh, Joe Joyce has always been slow. But when I say he was slow, slow. Now, first, I want to wait and see if he do his little flip or is he too fat or too big? You know, that little banana way Eddie Gordo thing he do. You know, but at least uh, uh, Gash Ali didn't go full cannibal on him. That's not halal. Uh, let's listen in. Take your time out, like the video, subscribe. We're going to talk. ...into the sparring, and he wasn't happy with him. But I, I certainly was, because he, he got through that, and it was just unfortunate and very unlucky he didn't get to the end. Cash Alley was brave, but Joe Joyce is the winner. Thomas Schreiber. Big joke or not, big joke or not. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 53 seconds of round number 10. Our referee, Kevin Parker, reaches the count of 10. Therefore, your winner by way of knockout, Joe the Juggernaut. Let's see if he do his flip. Let's see if he do his flip. Let's so see if he do his flip. Get out the way. He's back. Joe Joyce is the winner. His first step along the road is a successful Let's see if he does it. Now we wait and see what the rest of 2024 has in store. He's not going to do it. Gonna blow his fucking knee. Do your flip, Joe. Let me see. Nope, he's not gonna do it. He's not gonna do it. I knew once I saw that weight, I said he ain't gonna do that little flip. Didn't uh Tekken 5 just come out or something? He ain't gonna do the flip. Come on, do it. There's still some hope. They cleared the whole middle of the ring. We all waiting. We're going to listen to his uh, post-fight interview. Uh, I really like the Joseph Parker fight. I like the Deontay Wilder fight. See, if Joe Joyce loses some weight uh, and get back down to a manageable weight, um, I think that he can beat uh, Deontay Wilder. But we already know, you know, Wilder, it's all about what happens with that, uh, that right hand. If you get touched, you know you go down. But he did a full, like, demolition job on Joe Parker, though. But can he do it again? We're in so confident in the capability of our... He did a full demolition. I'm talking about he beat the shit out of uh, uh, Joe Parker. Like, the straight, full-blown juggernaut. But he is 38 years old. You know, these fighters, they're getting up there, man. You know, we're at the end of this generation. The Furies and the Usyks, they're contemplating retirement. Jaylee Zhang is lost. He's 40 years old. Anthony Joshua, he's still kicking. Joshua's got a phenomenal resume, by the way. The best in boxing right now. Uh, heavyweight boxing. Um, you got the new blood. Joseph Parker is kind of in that new blood. He's kind of in that new generation because you got guys like him, Frank Sanchez, uh, 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 Big Baby and Anderson. He's got some head case issues going on. Daniel Dubois, Felix Hergelvik. I messed, I messed up uh, last week um, when I did my uh, top five heavyweights. So let me go ahead and do it again now. So I got Usyk number one, Tyson Fury number two, Anthony Joshua number three. Nah, I think that Anthony Joshua got to go over a few. I'm going to go Usyk one, Joshua two, Fury a close third, even though he didn't lose Ngannou. He looked like shit. This is my, this is, this is mine. But then you got Joe Parker. Two. So I'm going to go Usyk, Joshua. I want to put Joe Parker number three. Because if you look at it, Fury ain't really, if you really look at it, man. 
Yeah, out of here, Tyson Fury. No, your belt icon. If you look at it, man, that Ngannou really set him back, and it depends on how you look at the Wilder Wilder wins. You know, and I'm not counting Chisora. You know, so you got Waleen, Wilder, White, Chisora, and Ngannou. He looked like shit. I don't know, cuz. All right, so I'm going Usyk. Joshua, I don't know. I can't, I can't. Listen, I got to go Usyk. Fury, we're waiting for the uh, post-fight interview. They're on a uh, commercial, by the way. I'm watching on the uh, ESPN Plus. So I got Usyk. <sighs> ah, shit. Why do I want to put Joe Parker number two? I kind of want to put him number two. But my heart not saying that. My heart is saying Usyk, Joshua, Fury, Parker. And then number five, do I really want to put Hergovic? But number five, it ain't Wilder. Wilder been, you know, ain't Wilder. Wilder's done. Look, I mean, Wilder, he's in the, he's in the, the bottom. Is he what, lost what, fucking four, fight, four straight fights or some shit? Talk about a hard fall. That's what he get for fucking around with that voodoo. Oh, I forgot the Louis Ortiz. I forgot this. Let's listen in. Hear what uh, Joe Parker has to Joe Joyce has to say. We're waiting. Oh, they're not going to interview him? What type of mess is this? They already got the... Uh, what type of mess is this? No post-fight interview. Are they really going to do that? That ain't cool. Well, with that being said, um, uh, got a lot of good heavyweight fights coming up. A lot of good boxing. Boxing season is finally here. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.